Okay guys, uh, we have talked about the Mac Lafferty rearrangement in our previous video. If you want to learn the basics of Mac Lafferty rearrangement, uh, you can go to my previous video and watch it in YouTube. Now in this video, we will be solving some more example of Mac Lafferty rearrangement. Now for example, I have written the basics of Mac Lafferty rearrangement problem solving approach, which is uh, provided here. So let me take a color here from, okay. this is this part so three step process so here it is the molecule they are providing this molecule to us and uh, they told us that uh, what is the fragmentation pattern of this molecule and what is going to be the fragmentation pattern we need to predict using mac lafferty rearrangement right so let's first find out the gamma hydrogen of this place so the gamma hydrogen of this place definitely it is going to be so let me change the color here it is going to be this one so this is the gamma hydrogen here and here it is uh, the uh, saturation unsaturation point so we need to find the gamma hydrogen next to unsaturation we find the gamma hydrogen which is at this point and second one is the breaking and making of the bond three times in a row that's the second part and we'll be doing it now and last the la last electron transfer will generate uh, a dot and a plus instead of a double bond right so now let's follow this process now let's say here due to one electron removed now what is happening in mass spec if this is our molecule electron will come and hit it as a result one electron is kicked out of this molecule now as one electron is kicked out from this double bond because rest of the bonds are stable this one is the unsaturation point so uh, from this part uh, one electron can be kicked out as a result of one electron kicking out uh, this bond becomes uh, unstable and one and the rest uh, another electron which remains there it will move uh, from one place to another place breaking and making the bonds now let's follow the pattern of breaking and making the bond now if this is the bond which is first broken so this bond is br broken so breaking a bond and we must make a bond somewhere else now the bond it is uh, making is here so making a bond here right so this is a making a bond now again breaking a bond making a bond so we are having second times now another time remains because we need to follow the three times right so again breaking a bond this will be broken this will be formed so this is the three step process so let me tell you the steps so breaking a bond making a bond step one breaking a bond making a bond step two breaking a bond making a bond step three right so now what we get after this rearrangement let's put it so what we are having here this one having a double bond now right so we are having a double bond here and then this one previously it was double bond but now it was a single it is a single bond now this one is again a double bond so let me draw here a double bond like that okay and this is a broken this is broken so we won't draw this part but this is again linked this hydrogen is also linked always like that and what we are getting here on the other hand we are getting this part so this is a broken bond so we won't draw it we draw this one a double bond which was previously single but now it's a double bond this one and it will just like that so these are going to be the two fragments but remember after the end the last electron transfer will generate one plus and one dot because one electron is removed at least so what we get a net positive charge and one electron will be there so at the last place that means the end so breaking and making first breaking making second breaking and making third so this is going to be the last electron transfer now at this point I put a double bond you can put it like that or it usually be like this so the structure will be simply like a dot and a plus like that and this part will be same so this is going to be the fragmentation pattern of this particular molecule that they are giving us okay 